Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mount Entertainment, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. We've got the 6-0 loaded up on the 6-7, and don't worry, the 6-0s are not going anywhere. We need it for today's job. Uh, the Fords are going to go out and save a Chevy. Or two Chevys, actually, even though one's not broken, but it needs towed anyways. So, we're going to load up and head on out there. Well, we're already loaded up, and we're heading on out there right now. So, we're gonna get out there, help him. He's one of my buddies. He's like, hey, my truck blew up or isn't running very well. Uh, he went out mudding and came back to his truck, loaded up his uh, Chevy Blazer, and his truck, he said, was running funny. So, he doesn't know what's wrong with it. He just said, hey, can you come get it? I was like, I'll bring a tow truck. Then he was like, hey, I actually got my... Uh, What's it called? Uh, PJ trailer. So can you bring a, like a truck and a tow truck or something that would be easier? And I was like, yeah, I can bring this stuff. And I'm like, yep, I got it. I got you, bro. So we're heading on out there to save the Chevy. Oh well, stupid Chevys. But just a little bit of an update on my truck. We got most of it or half of it lifted. We got the front end lifted and the rear. We haven't even gotten to touch yet. Um, but the new wheels and tires are on the front and they look amazing. Um, there's just a few things we've got to do on the front end to finish it off. Uh, then we'll uh, flip it around and start working on the uh, rear, which my dad's like, it won't take us that long. We just got to jack the rear up and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, should be freaking awesome. It looks awesome already um, with the front tires, but with the rears, I'm going to be like, oh my god, I love you, truck. Uh, but yeah, he was off-roading back here, which I don't know if he has permission to be doing that. Um, my guess is he does. There's a snake. Um, but yeah. But it's a Chevy 2500, I think, or is it a 30? I think it's a 35, but I'm not sure. So yeah, he just like parks up down over here and like goes through the river, and I guess I don't know if he goes through these ditches or what. But I have that low lock, don't I? Why is it sliding? That was weird. It slid, I think. Yeah. Hey bud, how are you doing? Oh, it's a 2500. I thought it was a 3500. Uh, yeah, I'm doing alright. Would have been better if I didn't have to come pick you up. <laughs> alright, so I'm going to unload the 60. Get your truck unhooked from it. I hope the 60 is low enough to tow this. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't towed a gooseneck with it, so it might look a little bit funky, but we, we'll get you taken care of and uh, take you down to that one shop that I was telling you about. Uh, he not, no, he's not the one that worked on the 6-0, but he owns that shop, and, uh, but we'll take you to the one that actually, he owns that shop. He said he can get you in today, so we'll take you down there. We'll actually take your blazer down there as well, um, and all that good stuff. All right, yep, I'm going to just go flip around and uh, get to work. All right, thank you. All right, so flip around basically wherever I can and then unload the 60 and start loading up his stuff which shouldn't be too big of a problem at least if I can get it running um, my hope is I can get it running for just enough to get it up on the trailer which I'm not really sure if I can but we're gonna give it a shot because if you don't give it a shot, you won't succeed. You gotta try to succeed. Maybe we should take the 6-0 off-roading. That would be fun. Ah, uh, I love that truck. Oh, it's starting to flex. But I do like this little trailer. It actually comes in handy four times like this. It's, I think it's meant to be just a car hauler and it works perfectly good for that. It works perfect for that. Alright, we'll unload the 6-0 back here.
Perfect. Alright. So we'll give the Chevy the best advantage we can. And... Okay. Yeah. We'll just pull the trailer down over here. Give it a kind of a flat surface to drive up on. It's gonna be a little bit... Uh, I can probably make it more. There we go. If it doesn't get up that... Chevys are worthless. Well, they already are. I'm sorry, Chevy guys. But... Ah, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see if this thing will start. Maybe glow plugs. It took a little bit to get start. Look, he has to remove his tailgate to even think about getting a fifth wheel hitch in it. Alright. Seriously? Start it back up. Stupid thing. But like we said, it's a Chevy. Come on. A Chevy that takes forever to just even think about starting. Alright, we're a little close to that, but that'll work. Good thing it didn't shut on or off on us again. Back up. Okay. All right. We need all. We need that screenshot. All right. Let's show him that a real what a real truck can do. Ha! Oh well. Everyone has what they like and don't like. That actually kind of works perfectly. Doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't really make the ride height any different, really. Alright, whoops. Gotta remember... Okay, I think something like that. I think that is actually kind of perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna drive the 6-7. To make sure that the Super Chevy makes it there on time. Or alright. Why? And he actually wants to take his blazer there too and just all store it all there. So, I was like, alright, sounds good to me. I don't have to haul this junk very far, or very far. What are you doing, bud? That was so weird, why did we... What? I... Oh, I swear, these people are sometimes so stupid. Oh well. Oh, his ramps are up. Why didn't he say something about that? Oh no, they aren't. They just look like they were. Huh. I thought they were down. Shame on me, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know if they have rights to off-road dead back there or drive back there which I don't know if it's a public road there is a road that goes back there but I don't know the whole deal on that like does he own some of it or who knows not really my business I guess could probably find somewhere to off-road I have actually hauled stuff not for the sky but from the sky he had like a few Chevy or not Chevys uh, few John Deere's that we hauled back for him a while ago <clears throat> but yeah this is actually a really cool load I think or dual or dual I don't know the word actually combinations <laughs> I guess not really sure what you would consider this a duo maybe that actually kind of sounds like it could work. Uh, oh, but I did get new brakes on my truck, at least for the front so far. We have the ones for the rear, but uh, we don't know if we'll need them or not. <laughs> but now my 
Cause you'd have to like really step on it kinda to get it any breaks or any of the break to even apply so my dad was like let's take a look at that and he's like yep those are bad I'll run because it was me my dad and my grandpa all working on it and me and my uh, grandpa were trying to get the stupid Pittman arm off this morning or yesterday morning uh, on Sunday and my dad was like okay I'm gonna go get this uh, tool to fit the Pittman arm or a socket to fit the Pittman arm nut because it, it was, we didn't have one big enough. And then he was like, I'll run by AutoZone or, uh, I think he, I don't know if he went to AutoZone or Napa. I know he went to, no, he didn't go to Napa. He went to Ace to get the tool. Um, but he went there and got it and was like, all right, let's go. And fixed it all up. So hopefully that'll help me uh, stop. But, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Since this is a Chevy. This guy seems to work a lot on the Chevys. So we'll just park around back. And we'll park his trailer on the other side. Okay, we'll just flip around here. We'll all figure out where he wants it, actually. I'll talk to the guy. Yep, I got the Chevys for you today. Yep, or, well, at the moment. So where would you like the blazer and all that? Because he just wants to park it here, if that, that would be okay. Alright, yep, that works. Alright, he just wants it back here. Like in this back slab, kind of. Or back of the slab. A concrete. So we're gonna get it as far over as we can. That might be a max. That works for me. Actually, kind of is perfect for that. So it doesn't have much. Alright, let's see if this stupid Chevy will start. Nope. Come on. Okay, that, that's a good sign. There we go. Chevy to fall. You know how Chevys are. Alright, yep. I'll send him your information and all that, and I'll give you his number and all that, so. Alright, yep. No problem. Okay. We'll swing around, get the Ford shit or the 6 to follow. Alright, perfect. Now let's get on out of here, boys. Come on, Sexo, let's go. But there's so much more I want to do to my truck. I still don't know if I want to do new front bumpers or just keep the stock bumper. Um, I can't decide yet. So that's why I don't have any light bars on my truck. But because I wasn't going to just say I should do a few light bars. I want to do one maybe in the. Uh, bumper, just like a 20 inch one or something, and uh, even if I do get a new bumper I could sell that light bar and get something else, oh I fell behind, oh well. Alright guys, so I'm gonna just end it here for today, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video, so thanks for watching and goodbye.